Today I'm making some delicious comfort food in a bowl, cheesy potato soup. It starts with red potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, and garlic, plus some chicken broth and some milk. We'll start by prepping the vegetables, chop the celery, the carrots, and the onion. And we'll cook these first, but I like to make sure I've chopped up the potatoes right away because you need them sooner than you think. Heat a little bit of oil in your soup pot and then add the carrots, celery, and onion. Give that a good stir and let that cook for about five minutes to soften. Then add the garlic. The garlic only needs about another 30 seconds. Then I like to add a little bit of flour with salt and pepper. Stir that around to evenly mix it in. Then start adding the liquids. First, the chicken broth. True confession, I'm actually using bone broth here and it is delicious. Then also a cup of milk, your choice of milk. And add all of those chopped potatoes. We're going to heat this to a full boil so the potatoes cook. And then once it's boiling, reduce the heat and we'll cover the pot and let this cook for 10 to 15 minutes to make sure those potatoes are cooked well. In the meantime, shred the cheese. Now, if you buy the pre-shredded cheese, you can certainly avoid this whole step. I just happen to have a block that needs to be used up. Let's check on this soup, it's looking good. I always like to verify with a sharp knife. Just poke into one of those pieces of potato and verify that it's tender. Now add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and chili powder. Give that a stir and I leave this to cook for another five minutes uncovered. It helps finish developing the flavors. And then add the cheese. Stir this in really well. And make sure the cheese really is mixed well enough to fully melt. Then remove everything from the heat and use either an immersion blender or a potato masher to start mashing those potatoes. You need to mash, it's actually kind of a watery soup until you do this and the mashing of the potato is what kind of naturally thickens it up. So mash and stir until it's at the consistency you want for your soup and give it a check, it looks good to me. So we're going to just spoon this away and get ready to enjoy the deliciousness. I hope you give this soup a try. It really warms you on a cold winter day. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.